Hey, Death Stranding just updated. That's nice. That's wonderful. Thank you. Just enjoying the shot of the dam. Two spook games in a row. No, Alan Wake is cozy. Huff, Alan Wake is so cozy. Heck, by the end of the room, we were getting cozy. <laughs> if you had a nightmare, it's about being too comfortable. You know? We got too comfortable on that hellhole. The water prison world. Episodes. No, 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 no. Oh, right, the episodes are DLC. Got it. I thought I was just going to be able to look over the episodes we've done. No, episodes are bonus. Okay, so if I remember right, we ended... I had a nightmare. I was locked in a 10 by 10 room with a cute girl who tied me down. I was so scared. Did it just end? Nightmares usually have a thing where it's like, Oh, I'm about to get hit by a, a, a big... She sat on me, then it ended. Okay. Like, sat on you to death? Like, crushed you? Like, ugh. I guess, yeah. You died. You failed your nightmare. You should have succeeded. You should have, you should have broken the restraints. It's your nightmare. You own it. Smart. Good job, Wake. All right, I got shocked, and then it checkpoints. So Alan Wake immediately goes, "Ooh, that's smarts." Should have found the hole. Yeah. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. Town hall for the hole. Uh, there is an achievement here. For not dying. This thing's cursed. Hold on, Sarah. Sarah, don't mind me. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh... Whoa, that smarts. Sarah, oh. she's just shooting willy nilly. It was not getting hit. No, that's um. There isn't anything like that. There's one. I thought that there was. You are remembering right. I baited myself. It was for not um dying. Through going going through the whole town in this chapter, and then another one for not firing a single bullet, going to the dam. In the next chapter, I think. Gunless wonder. I baited myself. Look out! Look out! Oh my god! <laughs> it's Deer Fest, everyone! Oh! Oh! Who's hitting me? the battery. Pull out the pistol. I need, um, hunting rifle kills as well. If you see a hunting rifle and I don't grab it, scream. Oh, we, we this is where we started. Right here. We came on the, the ferry over here. Ooh, thermos. Fifteen minutes for Jeopardy? No worries. Enjoy your Jeopardy, dude. I'll be playing until 9.30. It's all good. Oh, yeah. I, f I forgot. I'm leaving when you leave today. We'll be synced up.
Don't worry though. Usually, um, how long is Jeopardy? Is Jeopardy a half hour show or an hour show? I always thought it was an hour. Oh. Well, I failed. Smart. Good job, Wade. 30 Let's minutes, but I gotta close. eat right after. Oh, and I was just curious how long an episode is. You do what you gotta do, brother. I'll be here playing. Puff's a Jeopardy nut, yeah. He's in it to win it, alright? It's family time. It's okay, you don't... There's no shame in it. You're a Jeopardy head. You're a, tr a Trebekian. Well, he used to be. Ow! Whoa! Sarah just keeps a fam nut. I'm a fam nut. Sarah just keeps popping these guys. Use your dang flashlight. You fool. Look out! Crushed. He's gutted. It's family time. Get back, Shadow Assassins. Get back. Okay, now I'm gonna go back here. Price is Right kind of guy. Ooh, okay. We could play Price is Right. I can get down with some Price is Right. What do you think about Drew Carey, though? Over here, Wade! The choppers in the other direction. Sarah, there's fat loot over here. Hold on. Sarah, hold up. There's fat loot. Love Drew? Okay. He's no Bob, though. Yeah, that's for sure. I've only seen early Drew on Price is Right, and I didn't like it. But I'll trust you that he's good. He's, he's really worn into it. He's been doing it for a few years now, so... Like, last time I saw Drew, he's looking old as hell. Yeah, he was rough, really. He warmed up to it. He's in it now. And that's a life that's a lifetime gig. It's awesome. I bet he's stoked, dude. Doing that forever. Until you die. Why is this there? Why are you here? Why are you pointing here? Oh. The oh. air smelled of fish. This was Bright Falls industrial area. There was probably a camp. He's scaled. <laughs> he's gotten he's gotten better tiered as he went on. He's got better loot now. As always a fan of Drew, I liked his shows. Um I don't think I I guess I liked them. They were okay. I don't think I disliked them. What? Just shoot him. Yeah, exactly, just like that. Just shoot them. Sarah, just shoot them. Blast their brains out onto the ground. That's pretty true. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta be on my toes, dude. Didn't like whose line? Uh, I mean, I don't think Drew is like the funny part of Who's Line. He had some good, some good spots. And I'll say that they had good chemistry together with him as the host of Who's Line, but... I just don't think that he he really added too much to the show. Really.
on screen. That's not to say he didn't do anything off screen that we don't see, you know, but... <laughs> you know? Alan's got a hard head. He's got tough skin. He's a writer. That was clutch. I'm on my toes now. Yeah, I liked Ryan. Ryan just vibed with me, you know? What can I say? I'm a, I'm a Ryan guy. We call ourselves the Orions. He was mostly off-screen stuff. Yeah, which, I mean, that's that's fine. If he made the show great that way, that's awesome. Then he did a great job. But I'm talking about his presence on screen. Over here, Wake. The chopper's in the other direction. Which is what really, you know, a <laughs> rye <wry> guy. <laughs> What are those things? Um, oh, shoot. What are those called? Oh, I we, we have an acapella band based around Ryan. We are the Orions. Orion. Ryan's auto park. It could be both. Come on, it could be both. Come on. Come on, the it could be both. Fish. This was Bright Falls Industrial Area. There was probably a cannery nearby. Okay, so I got creamed here last time. Let's do our best to not get creamed this time. Don't cream me! Oh yeah, I see you. Fishing can be a job or a hobby. Get out of here. It's your life's work, because you paid for it with your life. Okay, okay. Gotta be fat loot around here. Another chest, maybe? You shooting? Yeah, she's good. <laughs> to Alaskan crabbers? If I see any Alaskan crabbers, I'll tell them. Any Alaskan crabbers ever pop up in chat, I'll tell them. I'll look them right in the eyes. Glasses off. Damn, Sarah's all the way over there. She really wants me to go over there. Alan! Alan, hurry! Wait, there's sick shit down here, Sarah. Alan couldn't help himself. He kept finding sick stuff on the ground. It made him disgusted in himself to be a consumer. But was his instinct. He followed it through to the end. Sarah's just watching us. <laughs> don't look at me. I'm consuming. I don't need the flares, but I want them. Ooh, there we go. Heavy duty. I'm going to want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. Ooh. Nice photos. What photos? On the wall. Oh, true. 
Good photos, yeah. I wish I could zoom in without using my entire flashlight, you know? There will be blood. I'm getting there will be blood vibes from that guy. The Daniel D. This is where it all started. Who did that? Ooh. Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff check down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard... Let her down, he Barry. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. Barry, no! Barry's fine. Don't worry about Barry. Worry about me. I can't die. Don't let me die, okay? Yo, when you go watch Jeopardy, let me know if you get any answers. I didn't even see her go through the gate. I always get some answers right. You gotta come back and trivia us. Whoa! Damn, we just double teamed that guy. New Yorkers were rude. No. <laughs> okay. Do they have they have they got a permanent host for Jeopardy yet, or are they still like shuffling with randoms? They got someone on now, but I don't know if it's permanent. Or okay. Man, all I kept reading were. Oh, Jeopardy's got a new host this week, and uh, the ratings are the lowest they've ever been. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's inspiring. Cool. Definitely want to check it out next week. Oh. Damn. RTX on. Keep an eye out for those manuscripts. I need them. More lore. Sarah, I got bad vibes right now, man. Wait, over here. They can't just keep There's getting there. new hosts. I imagine they're like fishing. You know, they're fishing for someone to be like, oh, that person did a really good job. Time to get them. Ask them if they want to do it forever. Would you like to do this until you die? Mm, maybe about a year. No, we're looking for a lifer on this one. I'll pass then. Thanks. Liked Cooper when he did it? Okay. Has he been your favorite so far? But he's got his own show. Yeah, that's that's the problem, right? You, that like I'm joking, but you literally you have to sign up to do that forever. Like they want someone to do Jeopardy forever. Just like Drew's gonna do Price is Right until he literally cannot anymore. Anderson Cooper, yeah, yeah, he hosted. I remember seeing that. Alright, Huff. Enjoy, dude. Have some good eats, too. Hello? It's an ambush. Oh, there we go. They pushed the car over! Ow! Ow! this guy. Big boy. Nope. I see you shooting stuff. Don't you dare. Mm -mm. 
back free. Damn, Sarah's popping off over here. Unload, unload, unload. Sarah, unload. Damn, I missed. Zoomers over here. <laughs> She's put in work. I am just a writer. Good AI. Respect. Let's go, Wake. Okay. Oh, there's bound to be fat loot. Ooh, uh, do I see a thermos? Yeah, I do. Pages? I'm on the lookout for hot single pages. Are there any singles in my area? My phone's next to me. It's probably going to be flooded with ads like that. Amazon's listening. What thermos do? Um, you know, coffee, mm, sippy, mm, soup, mm, warm, cold. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get mm -mm. them? Alan, you were shocked. You were not electrocuted. You would be dead if you were electrocuted. I thought he was a writer. For change. Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, this is a great painting. I mean, the texture's awful, but I like it. Ooh, this is a great painting. Much better than the other one. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again. But meanwhile, I gotta keep an it eye. would be difficult to recapture Soup the Soup in a thermos sounds like a mess? No, no. No, no, no. I'm looking this up. Is this a thing? I've never had soup in a thermos, but... Soup thermos. A flood flask. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me bring up the pick, dude. Open in a new tab, boom. Look at that. Have some soup in there. It's delicious. Have to have some bits and bobs in the in the, the smaller ones. You have some noodles. You dip them in the in the soup. Tasty. How do you get up in there? Got to clean it. You just wash it, dude. <laughs> Same way you clean like a water bottle. You get like a specific little uh, scrub brush for that. You can get them cheap. You can get them like five bucks. Specially made. <laughs> you can get a scrub brush just for a thermos. Some thermoses, if they're more expensive, they come with the cleaning tools. Was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted Alan, the to phone's hurt. off. Nothing in here. Just perusing. I'd like to make a statement. I'm Alan Wake. I Alan. And I'm a writer. Oh. That's it. That's all I wanted to say.
sit down. He must be so nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Take it all. Ooh, TV. Hell yeah. Freedom. A fusion of vigilance, conscience, and uncompromising clarity of vision. A need so fundamental, it permeates our very being. And yet, a man may be brought to his knees in a single heartbeat. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. Taken in his prime. In his prime. For young Manny, the night hasn't been kind. He's a marked man, selected for a lifetime of servitude after answering an ad in the newspaper. But first, a little field surgery is required. Well, well, look what I... Well, well. Ah, please, no! Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I think you're just about ready for it. Best if you don't resist this, kid. We gotta beat it out of you. What? I don't understand. What, what did I do? I just wanted to get a job in the service industry. <laughs> wow, you're gonna serve all right. Stop it! Oh, Leave him alone! There it is. It's coming out now. Right between the self-esteem and the childhood traumas. What are you doing to me? Put firm in. There, I've got it. Believe me, kid, this free will thing is more what? trouble than it's worth. What the? You've seen movies like this? What did they just do then? What? What was that? Nothing for you to worry about, Manny. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We'll tell you all about that. Don't you worry. Another vacant worker ant, birthed in fury and violence for the pleasure and convenience of ruthless and malicious men. Stranger things can happen. Okay. In night they grabbed strange. some goop out of them, lit it on fire. And he became an amnesic. What am I supposed to do? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll help ya. Okay. Smile. This seems like a trap, dude. I got flares. Oh, yep. Who could have guessed? Bad office worker. Get back to work. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. Cool. The darkness controls the taken. We know that already. Get some new material. Ooh, thank you. How do I get in there? Through this way, maybe? Maybe this isn't a dead end? Was there a door? Yeah, there is. I missed it. Cool. Good thing I thought this was a dead end. Hey. How you doing? Brick off. The street sweeper, baby. Nothing beats it. Man, the light's so jank. Let me through. If only this had ray tracing, you know? 
Give me the ammo. Thank you. Give me the ammo. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Flashbang. Helicopter okay, key. I got the keys. We got everything in here. Right into a cutscene, huh? Barry? Why isn't he inside? There's Barry, he's fine. Going for a late night job. He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. He's perfectly fine, I'm sure. He just did a heroic dive. Come on, Wake, let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Okay. He's a hero. Didn't you see him dive? Barry? Barry! Can you hear me? Are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm cool. Don't worry. I'll find him. I'm cool. I'll meet you two out back. Are you sure? I'm fine. Besides, there's all sorts of useful stuff in here. I want tons of useful stuff. Barry's got all this useful stuff. Let's go, Sheriff. Oh. It's not recorded when Bright Falls was first formed as a nameless trading post, but it became a town when Bright Falls Mining Company started to operate nearby in 1878. It was then that Hubert Biltmore, a fur trapper, and Amos Gunderson, a pioneer from Tacoma, decided to build a post office, saloon, and hotel, all operating from the same building. Wow. Multifaceted, dude. It was through the efforts of those two men that Bright Falls became a permanent and thriving town. The town. The permanent and thriving town it is today. He's got his gun and his Yushanka. <coughs> and then he's got his flute and a Bible. I love the Bible. That's why they call it the good book. It's the only one that is. It's well written. That's for sure. Trust no one in the dark. I'm watching you, Sarah. The wall told me to. Rabbit season! A clean kill. Executed, dude. I feel like I'm missing so many manuscript pages. That's the problem. I'm getting nervous. I'm looking everywhere. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Get the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. <laughs> oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry. Yeah, Doc. the sheriff's here. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. I don't think it has a choice, dude. Stop shooting. All these shadow assassins know is violence. And catchy one-liners. They keep saying them. Damn, I don't want to go in there. I'm checking around first. They all got zingers in their pocket, and they're wanting to share. It 
It's a 360 game. Triple D's. Is that like the three R's? <laughs> They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. Huh? I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan Which of my book own is this? writing. Mom's survival guide. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light sensitive paint. That's a good rhyme. And could only haunted be seen the halls by of Bright Falls. Been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light oh, and darkness. Oh, hold on. I left my window open. It's raining. I gotta close my window. Hold One sec. Never mind. We good. I thought I left it open. But I didn't. Planned ahead. Still got paranoid anyways, though, so it doesn't matter. Read? Oh! Alex Casey books by Alan Wake. A modern master of crime fiction, if I don't say so myself. Alex Casey, what I can't forget. Return to sender, the things that I want. The fall of Casey and the sudden stop. All in stock. Twenty dollars a book. Hundred dollars for the full set. Mr. Wake is in town. See if you can get them autographed. Okay, it is written on the page. It's a three sixty game. Not very legible, but I'll take it. What's this say? Something about reading is fun. Bob the Bear going shopping. Good father, bad father. Whoa. Let's read that one. I only know of the Godfather. I didn't even know there was a bad father. Something? Something? Oh, just the batteries. I don't see Barry. Oh, I see Barry. Look! Wait! Maybe that's him! That's the way to the chopper! It's him in the sky! Hold on, there's fat loot over here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm good. Look at in here. Give me the thermos. Footprints? No. 360 game? Give us some slack. Hey, sure, if you like this, is this cool? Are you impressed? Not just a writer, am I? <laughs> I got th some athleticism. Watch this. Oh, yeah. 
And even this. Check this out. You impressed or what? Think I can handle my own now? <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to brag, but... I spun that thing at least ten times. Come on, Alan. Alright. I know when to quit. There's got to be a page around here. I'm smelling it. I'm sniffing a page. Hunting rifle, lantern, uh, flare gun, flashbang, flashbang. We got the lantern already. What do we got over here? What's this? There we go. I knew I could smell it. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns. And yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry smiled widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. Who has a who needs that many crowbars that you keep a barrel around? Uh, yeah, this is my crowbar collection. Uh, this one's been with me for a long time, yeah. Yep, passed down through the generations. This one's still got some lead in it, so be careful. Oh, this we could probably read this. Oh, yeah. Church events, fall schedule. Sunday school, Sundays. Bible study, Mondays. Bright Fall Knitting Club club meetings. Or... Bright Falls Knitting Club meetings, Alt Wednesday evening, so every other Wednesday. Deerfest Candle Night, September 14th. Deerfest Morning Service, the 15th. Presbyterian Choir of Watery Visit, September 28th. And the annual Charity Bake Sale, October 3rd. Coming back for the bake sale. I'm going to give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Uh, I told him to get it fixed. Dang. Here they come. Labor. <laughs> Let's take a break. Physical labor. Brain blast. Nice. It got the guys in the front, too. It's awesome. Good advice. Take your omegas. Where is he? He's fast. Ugh. Now fully reload. We need a good reload on that one. We good? Get these bats. Get these bats. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Copy that. Wow. Oops. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deerfest. Why? Well, 
It's tradition. God loves Deerfest. It's to praise it. It's been christened. Physics? No. It's a 360 game. Oh, oh, oh. Almost past it. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Ooh, give sub! Thank you, subtitles! So generous? No physics on the flag. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah. Hold on. There's no I'm way going do through some the prayer. crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. I want to see these. I want to see that picture. <laughs> I just want to see stuff without it being blown out by my massive flashlight. Yup, yup, I'm gonna need a flare gun for this one. We're popping off in here. Dude, this rem reminds me of, um... RE8 right now. Going through the catacombs of Castle Dimitres. Nice. What do you see? Oh, I see him. Sarah, shoot him. Sarah. Sarah, shoot him. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the opening. Now I can look cool. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate it. What's this? Wrong button. Did you call nine one one? Not yet. Ooh, Barry. Is it Barry? Yes, that one saw the light, huh? Look at you know badass. A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Damn. Come on. Barry's a genius. It's missing. Damn, it's a cat. Someone's missing their cat. Why would you put it next to the garbage? The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. Is this a shield? See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's He's my shilling. flaming eye of Mordor. Barry, you gotta pay for a plug like that, alright? I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Oh. Bastard. He cleaned him out. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. 
She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Alan knocked over every lamp he could find in a fit when anyone told him to just write already. God damn it! Damn, look at him glow. Like an angel in the shadows, dude. Very. My guardian angle. When someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license, you're cleared for departure. To Night Springs. Uh, no offense, Sheriff. There's loot. Get the loot. You guys got that, right? Is this... I can't remember if this is the damn part. If this is the damn part... Good thinking. It's a nice thought. Freeze! Don't shoot! Keep shooting! Oh, okay. Oh my god. She just put the barrel right up to that guy's chin. <laughs> Sarah's a menace. She's killed some people. A cab. Helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. I see it. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Any signs around here? I need some more signs to read. Oh, oh. No, I don't need those. Some stuff. Hunting rifle, flashbang. Alright, I have a ton of flashbangs. I should be using these constantly. Batteries. Oh. Death pit. Wait, don't leave me. Huh? I do love how you can move during those, and it's just like, uh. You will never get her back. We're not ready to take off yet. Well, get ready. I'll hold them off. I'm having visions, guys. Shadow Assassin Tornado, it's gonna start whipping them at us. Safety's, safety's off. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. We might as 
well. Use the flare gun ammo, dude. I'm trying to stay alive. Simple economics. Does it look like I'm not fighting? I was just standing there, I'm sorry. chill. I don't even need to do a gamer lean, dude. I'm not even like, oh, fuck, dude. Wait, we're leaving. Get a move on. Oh, uh, whoa. Oh, uh, whoa. Uh, hold on. It's crazy out here. I'm not sure if I'll make it. and kills. Hold on. Too easy. Yeah, I'm good. Hold on, grab that. Well, you know what? Let me grab that. Whoop. Hold on, hold on. Oh. I almost died. Flashback. I really wanted it. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Did I get the trophy? I don't think I got it, dude. There's like a weird, there's like a weird like echo this? to them. No, no, just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease Dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. You know what? We are in a tin can. Oh my god. The frame rate We're is alarming. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land. Just get me there, Sheriff. Just get me there, Sheriff. Shut up. Hold on! The birds! Oh. I got this. Oh, Alan broke his legs, his most powerful asset. I gotcha. Yo, what happened to my good flashlight? I got this crummy one now. Whoa.
Thermos, I see it. Dang, I can't believe I missed the achievement for not dying. I even restarted checkpoint. Maybe that's against the rules. Maybe I had to back all the way out. Okay. Yeah. I know, it's a shocker. I'm shocked. Hello? I did pretty good. I mostly died near the beginning. One time it was because I fell. I slipped through a crack in a piece of wood. Ow. Hey. Can you not throw stuff at me? It'd be really cool. I wonder if you could hit them with an axe. Or did Alan only write it so that bullets can hurt them? Because he thought guns are cool. Axes are lame. Axes are way cooler than guns. Here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's tell just me why. one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. This is DMCA. This is good work for a Ow! I was just listening to the radio, dude. Come on. This song is almost too chill to be playing in the background. Oh! What's up, Mad Dog? Mad Dog! <laughs> it's perfectly in tune with what's going on. It's called War! Uh -huh. Feels like a supernatural episode. Ooh, which one am I? Am I Samuel? Guess if that's who I am. Here's a new song from a band that they always remind me This is good work for a night person. I keep telling myself, hey chains! The chains have physics. It's a 360 game. Ow. Get 
Get back here. Hey. Hey. Blast him. Unload. Unload on that man. Alan, you gotta unload. Yeah, oh yeah, I slickly dodged him. I was definitely close enough to dodge him. Close one. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a skillet. Ow. Brick off. This music perfect. talks about war. We're in a war right now. Thermos? Coffee. Thank you. Looking for loot. Keep an eye out for pages. <laughs> I need it. I need my daily dose of lore. Otherwise, how can I tell everyone that I'm a lore whore? I can't own the name. You find a hunting rifle yet? Oh yeah, we had a hunting rifle. I got my kills. We racked them up. Statistics. 53, oh wait, no, that's a uh, flashbang. 60, we needed 50. Banged him out. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What's the thing called? I gotta look, I gotta see the trophy, dude. Whoa, this has like a, a PlayStation Plus hint. What's the hint? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. Oh, I remember this. Avoid electrocution. Uh, I, I don't know if it's like butter. I got some issues. I got some issues. The UI doesn't have any issues, but I have issues. Okay, what's this one? The first chapter in episode six, okay. Wait, what about the one that we're doing right now? In episode five, you must make it from the police station to the helicopter without dying or restarting. didn't do that compared to the ps4 um i do like some aspects of the ps4 ui better like where are my folders at dude where are my folders at look at this mess can't i can't bundle any of these up actually we can deinstall this one delete we don't need that anymore i don't think we need this anymore either i'm gonna leave it 
I think Chelsea might want to play it. Or restarting. We restarted, yeah. I know why we failed. Hmm? Little Gogurt over here. Ooh. Right next to it. Little Gert party over there. Okay, so episode six, the one that we need to keep an eye out for now. We're good. We already failed. Uh, I'm just gonna go back through where I came. I'm going back where I came from. You can't hate me. I'm going back where I came from. You can't hate me. But I can hate you. I even had a bullet. I didn't need to reload. Mm, there's a page back there. Can I get that? No, I gotta go around. Ah, shoot. Can I blast this? Alright, Alan. Time to... Time to... Walk down these stairs. I only eat yo play yogurt. I've tried other yogurts and it's such a disgusting texture. I usually go with a Greek yogurt. Oh, okay. No fat Greek yogurt. Hello. Yeah, but that means some of you aren't skilled professionals. And that's good enough for me to check your licenses. It's good enough for me to tell HR. I'm gonna tell them. Greeks. I tried a few Greeks. I about threw up. Damn. I love Greek yogurt. So good. So good. Mm. Ow! How could you swing such a large thing at me? Has the same texture as throw up. Uh, I don't. I don't throw up often enough to know that. It takes. A, I found out that it takes a lot for my stomach to make me throw up. Just like cottage cheese. I don't like cottage cheese. That's literally trash. That nan made you throw up. That non? No, no, no. I didn't throw up. I spit it up. I go, Ugh. You know? Cottage cheese is nasty. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years. And now only wanted to rest. Just let Cynthia rest. Come on. My parents love it, though. It's like if you took an actual cottage, shredded it down, and then put it in with, like, old milk. Nasty curdled milk. And you go, here, it's edible food for you. I don't want this. Use all the parts of the cow. The hoofs, the horns, the nose, the udders, the ass, and the kidney. 
all the parts. I'm trapped! Like a moth in a bath! Thank you. I'm gonna bully you. Get back in there. I'm bullying you. Get back in there. Get back in there. This seems like prime collectible spot. Look at this. Is this like near and the shadows are people? Yeah. The shadows were taken over by the darkness. You know, rotten eggs and fish are edible. Doesn't mean I want it. Rotten eggs are edible? People eat rotten eggs? This page up there, I need that. Is a delicacy in some places. Maybe like a homeless shelter. That's mean. They have more taste than that. Maybe like... It's like beef jerky, but eggs? Ew. Send it off planet. <laughs> I like beef jerky. If you told me you're bringing me jerked eggs, I'm telling you to ship that out. Take, just Put that in Elon's cock rocket and send it out to space. I've heard of the century egg, actually, yeah. I've seen someone eat one before. I should have known that. I thought it was, like, fermented, though. It's a delicacy made by cooling a vat of strong black tea, salt, lime, freshly burned wood, ash overnight, then adding duck, quail, or chicken eggs. I've seen a duck one. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. And then sell it for six ninety nine. dollars Wink. <clears throat> So I'll tell you now, this game comes from the era of uh, 360 games where the ending was sold as DLC later. So even though it's going to be like the end, um, episode 6, the end, we have to play the DLC to get the real ending. How? You kidding me? Maggot cheese is a delicacy in Italy? What the heck? Just like the damn Skyrim horses. Yeah. If you want to finish the horses, gotta buy the, the DLC. Oh yeah, lore. We got lore here. Lieutenant William T.G. Randall, memori memo Memorial Bridge. This bridge is, has been designated as a memorial in honor of recognition of Lieutenant William T.G. Randall, 1919 to 1981, a World War II POW and recipient of the Distinguished Service Cross. He died of injuries during his successful rescue of two children from a burning car crashed at this location. Damn, that's a good texture on there. Look at that. Clean. I couldn't get across until I found a way to turn the bridge. <laughs> Alan's going to save the whole town. What's he going to get? The, they're going to name the planet after him. DLC. <laughs> Damn, he got downloadable content named after him. 
I want to join the Wakosphere. What edge of the planet is that? The rotating bridge was open. I don't want to be on this hemisphere anymore. I want to be part of the Wakosphere. Hello. Only woke sphere for Americans, yeah. You guys get the woke sphere. I get the wake sphere. VIP member. Let's grab some stuff. Yummy, yummy. You think he's still on the bridge? Lieutenant? Is something supposed to be happening? Look up! Hello, they look up to you! Ugh. It's like that waterfalls is ha- Oh, it's the Niagara Falls, dude. You guys get the shitty part. We get the cool part. We get the part of the falls that does, like, cool skateboard tricks. Racks up a nice combo. You guys get the one that spits all over you. <coughs> get off. Get off me. You missed an episode, Huff. It was so good. They took a piece of goop off of some guy, bullied him into the ground, and then he wakes up with an amnesia, and he's like, what do I do now? And they're like, don't worry. I'll help ya. And that was it. That was the end of the episode. An absence of creativity. Hello, Martha. What did you want to show me? Olivia. Thank this reality you television? Here. Please, it's in the basement. Oh, Martha. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it just... <laughs> I found it here this morning. <laughs> it's like it isn't there, but... Oh, I can't look straight at it. Yes, uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Did you get here? Well, I'm trying to work. Did you put this thing here? In a way. To be more precise, I put everything here but that. Really? But what is it? Oh, uh, I guess the temptation is to call it a hole, but it's really an absence, a profound lack. Silent Hill for the hole. In Martha's basement? Yes, I was doing so well, too. I came up with two old ladies and put something really weird in the basement. It was a great start, but I'm completely blocked now. I can't imagine what I was up to. Well, surely it's just an ordinary basement. Is it? Why did you call your friend here, then? Well, I... I don't know. Oh, well. Couldn't you just ignore it? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. It would probably turn into a plot hole. Might be one already. Could sink the whole enterprise. So 
plot hole, oh, sinkhole. Listen, ladies, not to be rude, but I'm really not at all sure where I'm going with this, and you're just not helping. You should just go back upstairs for a cup of coffee while I try to figure out what I'm up to. Well, if you think that's best. Maybe I should just stop here. Or is that too moronic? Is that too moronic? Indeed. Who can tell? It's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime. It's a fine line between stupid and sublime. You heard it here. <laughs> that was a good episode, for sure. That's a good one. An all-timer, I'd say. Hey, guys. We managed to leave the flock. You're almost at the power plant. Keep going. We'll give you support. Hold on, I'm looking for pages. Damn, look at the the uh, the wind from the chopper blowing the trees, dude. Better than Witcher 3. like not do that though be really cool blast up where's Paige at stop that Stop that. Oh, I see you. Oh! Ouchie! Oh! I'm gonna die. I keep meaning to pick up this flare, not die. See. Run, Alan, run! Okay. Oh. I'll tell you when I know what the plan is. <laughs> Birds are back. I don't know how to blast them properly. Okay, maybe the birds aren't back. I'd flare the birds? I only have one flare left, dude. I gotta make it count. Good dodge. Thank you, me. Great compliment, me. Oh, that's a bad dodge. Oh. That was just a warm up. Just a suss out the area. You know, we're trying to get an idea of what's going on here. Wombo combo. Happy feet. Half Life 3. This ain't Falco. They came from behind. I see you now. I see your game. I see it. Pop a shot off, just to warn them. Warn them. 
I'm warning you. I'll pop a shot. I'm heavily inspired by Papa Roach. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying oh. hidden caches of supplies. Trust no one in the dark. Safe haven. Pages? Safe haven. Shut up, Alan. That sounds like something that someone in the darkness would say. I'm not trusting you. I don't trust you, Tycho. You're in the dark. Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. Cynthia! About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. We're gonna get her killed. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What do you need to drive the darkness back? lit room is off the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Okay. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. My friends have a helicopter. We won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where is that guy? Alan's <laughs> very naughty. I have a secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's drained all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. <laughs> Alan yes. only goes out at night. The only time I remember him being out during the day the is when he was arrested, the and then when he first arrived at town, outside. and then went to the diner. Otherwise, he's a night owl. He's a writer, all right? He lives for the night. Dreams. Wait, the darkness waits in my dreams. On PlayStation 4. I miss you, Tom. Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. Thank you. Been preparing for these Where's the times. switch? The dark tides. You have found my caches, haven't you? You can see this. They're gonna go through here. Few people there. Yes, please take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We, we do Tom's work, don't we? I cannot take you to the well lit room. It's Told you. The Remember the the episode we were watching you with the hole? Sound hole for the, the hole. Switch. Had to go outside. Got it. Open up. Open up, it's Alan. Don't you know who I am? I'm a famous writer. Oh! Oh boy. It's Large Lad. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We got it. Weaver had sent me to cut the power of the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependent willing, on her. Huh? I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. She's corrupted. Rule one, never go out at night. Oh. Safe haven. Oh, that just leads us back. Okay. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. 
Floodgate controls to be operized, uh, operated by authorized personnel only. I've been authorized. Cynthia said I could do it. If I could figure Angelica's out the doll gates, from I could use them said to I get to the it. kill switch. Two, keep the lights on. I feel like that should be rule one. Who designs these things? Gatekeeper. Okay. Transformer yard went dark and dead. Don't kill me. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be. Don't kill go. me. Run, run, Alan. Safe haven. Now it's done. Oh God. Oh God, don't be done. Pop him. Did the door kill him? We pushed that guy against the door and he died. Darkness on darkness action. No. Frick. They locked the door. I am a tool then it means I should take care of myself yes I think that's what he means it's like if you know any friends or people that are tools you should take care of them do your best take care of the people around you that's what the lesson is there they always have a nice life lesson they're screaming at you, you know like eat your omega-3 fatty acids keep yourself safe yeah it's basically what he's saying you keep yourself safe by keeping everyone else safe, right? Cynthia! Cynthia! I've done it! Do you see me? This way, okay. young man. Follow me. She sees me. Come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them. I'm both. right behind oh, you. Man. My brother. My father. Such a crush on him. <laughs> Such a beautiful man. I was Change the bulbs. A part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the Change the bulbs. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring me back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. <laughs> I'm not gonna get her killed. I'll do what I can. I'm keeping the lights on. Until it was too late. He tried I'm following to her rules. Himself, her, 
everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Tom Selleck, yeah. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing. Tom Selleck was very handsome. In case it happened again. And Is shorts. he still? I haven't seen a picture of modern me. Tom Selleck. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the I curse you, Thomas you. Zane. It's been uh -oh. waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story we love. And none of us will survive to see the end. If the darkness isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. Um. He still talks to me, you know. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. Sh the sh darkness sh sh um, me. Does he want... Does she want me to do this? Okay, it's a cutscene. Wait, is this modern Tom Selleck? Tom Selleck at Pallyfest. Look how rugged he is. Stern. Look at that face. <laughs> I try to zoom in. It zooms out. 500%. It got smaller than ever. Directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends okay. and tell them where we're going. Hello? No signal. Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. Mm. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! <laughs> Barry! Man, that probably hurts his, their ears okay. to be screaming in that. I don't know how he has a, a signal, dude. Good phone. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. He wrote it into the plot, so it must be... That's my best friend! <laughs> is that the lady from the TV show? What TV show? Oh, maybe... The one who goes into the basement? At it might be. Have to worry might be the same her. actor. She knew how to stay safe. I broke her rules. I am gonna get her killed. She said don't go out at night. I specifically went out at night. I knew it was nighttime and I went out. You know the rules, and so do I. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Turn it into a sick Suddenly, dub. There was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly, and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry They're going down, next to down, in an earlier <laughs> round. Sarah, you're going down swinging. You're with my number one buddy, Barry. Alan will get you killed because he goes out at night. Birds. 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 I sensed him. not going down 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 into your mouth don't you put it in your mouth don't you put it in your mouth don't you stuff it in your face ow we should just load Barry up with flares then we can call him flary
frick off. Ah, frick! Frickity frack, don't come back! We're just cruising. At least they waited for me to cross the rickety bridge first. They're not bullies. They're birds, hey, alright? Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! Sheriff Breaker! I mean, Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. I mean, yeah, there's no bodies. well-lit room I'm going I'm coming Barry! Barry! I'm sprinting oh! Over here! Watch out. They're coming. In there. I'm, coming. I'm here my friends You ever think that in a hundred years the lizard will evolve to be bigger because of global warming? We're due for another dinosaur evolution. I think evolution takes longer than we will ever see. I don't think we'll see the next uh, chain of evolution. No, uh, you think we're gonna make it? We ain't just gonna fake it till we make it. We're gonna kill this planet. Hold up right there. People can't help themselves. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Look what we did. We evolved them. That was forced though. Evolution's like Pokemon. One day they'll they small fuzzy, next day they're ten feet tall. They're just like <laughs> they're just huge. <laughs> they're just like molt their old skin and then glow and it's like oh my god i can't look you bl it blinded and then when you can look oh my god oh my god i don't have any monsters around the only thing i have is this reptar but it's a broken snow globe oh my god look how big the the dinosaurs are What if oil is just the blood of sleeping dinos? I hate this. Thanks for asking. We would have dug him up. I knew you'd be all right. How is that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Yeah, laugh it up, funny man. Can we have if they were sleeping, we will meet us at the. We dam. would have dug him up. We just keep digging up damn rocks and rusty bones. Natural rust. Dirt. <clears throat> Anything in here? What if... The planet is just one big dinosaur. And that's why we get the oil. We hit like a vein or artery. You know? And the and the galaxy, this the universe is just made of giant dinosaurs. All the planets are just big dinos, waiting to wake up. <laughs> okay, I'll calm down. I know when my ideas aren't wanted. All right, I'll I'll bookmark that one for me later. That's just a me idea. I'll write that one down in my mental checklist. Huh? 
I miss them. Most of you know, running up hills while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off. Demon hicks? What the hell? You know your helicopter crash landed in uh, Night Springs. <laughs> really want to do this Al yeah you do aren't you the vampire killer come on oh, Barry sure. I should have kept that gym membership dude has a flashlight and a headlamp give me the headlamp you see those lights that's the elevator we need to take all right I can get us there we all know that our universe is just a molecule in a blade of grass over an all-arcing big picture. In the overall arcing big picture. You can't is that what the Big Bang was? It's just part of the, the big the picture? Big Bang, bigger picture? Oh crap, there's more than one of them! Nothing moves like that, it's impossible! I thought eventually they would explain what the theory on um, the Big Bang was in the show. Um, they never really got to that part. I think they got cancelled before they got to really get into it. I don't think that many people were watching it. Big Bang was just a lawnmower. Was that it? Part of God's Are lawn. Safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. If you're speaking, we're okay, Sarah. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Where's the thing we're looking for? They said lights. I don't. I don't like, oh, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Taken are filled up with darkness. Who filled them up? All right. Old man, old lady. Wait, call the elevator. Oh. I'm keeping watch. Thank you. I hear something moving around. No, this isn't it. This is still chapter five, or episode five. Episode six, the one we need to not be shooting. The speed run we missed. Up. Here they come. Oh no. Oh no. I don't I'm curious if we can use flares. They're coming. We have to Not like shooting flares. I'm assuming you can't shoot anything, but like, you know, pocket flares. Like, yeah. Get out of here. Oh, no. Or flashbangs. Focus your flashlight. Let me watch this. Barry. Barry. Oh my god, he charged twice in a row. No. She shot him out of the way. I think they get some LEDs. Well, Barry has the right idea. Look, he's strapped out. He's got Christmas lights on him. That's far enough. That's far enough. That's far enough. That's far enough. Hit the button. Look at him, terrified. Get this elevator going, will you? Just running backwards. You'll never get us. Just hit the damn. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's, she's got blind. something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas, Zane, seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Paul Bunyan? Yeah, well, he's he real. real. Maybe a flamethrower? I don't think you get a flamethrower in this. That'd be probably be pretty good, though. Let's be careful, okay? And Bigfoot, this. we've said both, yeah. 
Holly Buns. Did I see a thermos or was that my flashlight? I think it was the flashlight. I call her Sarah. How come she doesn't call me Alan? Maybe she's like Japanese, you know? She's trying to, she's like, just like, you know, being respectful. We're not on a first name basis yet. Mr. Wake. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Okay. I'm holding it. Well, just kidding. Oh, I got gotcha. you. My turn. Uh. The Where's darkness! The you guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. Okay. I'll keep good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. Please take care good care of my good friend. Barry. You gotta be kidding me. Uh Ow. My freaking Alan. Oh. Take him out. Down, boy. Cheeky. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Okay. But couldn't he just write that the shoebox was infinite in size, so he could put anything in the shoebox? You know, you know, might as well be infinite. It's not infinite, but it's it's big enough. Like you could put a lot of stuff in there. Ah. Ow! 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 That's a lot of birds. We're at the dam. I'm assuming that this is going to be the end of the chapter. You guys are lumber workers, though. I was okay, I guess they, uh, there's some fishermen the there. Like could even the odds. Sayonara. Damn freak. It was at that moment Wake realized that they were all damn freaks. Not just one of them, not just two of them, all of them. Cheat. 
Everyone's ready to be shot. Oh, except for this guy. Now you're ready. Oh, I grabbed him. He's warmed up for my, my bullets. They slide. In. Enough. You will go no further. Paul Bunyan. Stop. Stop now. Oh, thank you. Uh, Alan, run. Alan, don't get tired. Just keep running, brother. <laughs> Always. Always. Uh, Alan, don't get tired. Alan, don't get tired. <laughs> Alan, be awake. Uh. Move those legs, dude. Shake those bones, King. Uh, thermos. Thank you. Keep running, though. Paul's <laughs> not happy. Uh, his bones are furious. He's bunioning. I am running. Frick off. Hit the hit the button though. Hit the, okay. Hit okay. Hit the button though. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well lit room for many many years now. There's no shadow in the well. Room. The power is failsafe. I call the bulbs. I'm numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. I trust her. <laughs> That's Barry, dude. He is rude. He's a rude dude. It was active during the Second World War. They operated. Look at that. He's got then. swagger. They must have built this. Look at him. Yes, they did. It's my you don't mess now. with this guy. Secret? Oh. Alright. The well lit room. Take it. Then I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late. And I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, All smiles. His bed, offered him an old light switch. Except for Alan. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd give the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. He's writing into my writing. I wrote I him into the now. into writing into my this. writing.
and lost. So, how, how I see it, I think <laughs> I think Alan wrote that that happened. Did Zane, Zane make Alan by writing him? No, Alan existed before. But something is weird with Bright Falls. It's an AWE. You sure? Yeah. Alan's a real human being. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror Lady of the Light. A story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror What story. I'm confused about is did Alan write that Thomas Zane wrote about him? He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of the Or did the Zane light, write that the clicker in his hand? He took a deep breath. Knowing what would happen. Jumped. Did Zane write all of this? Now. I can finish this. But Zane was writing a story about Alan, yeah. <laughs> Two writers in a town where something you write becomes real. Remember, the darkness in the town my needed Alan my head was about to, to make its reality of becoming stronger and stronger come I need true. I sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Alan wrote to a certain point. So, the, the darkness and the, the supernatural elements of the town had existed. Alan came here. And the darkness that already existed here was like, mmm, succulent little juicy writer. And used that to write into reality a story that would become reality in which it would become stronger. Have more influence over the world. Expand its, its sphere of influence. But Alan wrote an out for him in the story. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look Wicked. bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Oh yeah, we're wicked, Alan, now. Get the painkillers. Max, where'd you put the painkillers, dude? Bills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. You have shelves and stuff right there. Why not put the stuff that's on the counter in the ca in the little cabinet right there? It's right there. It's literally right above it. Clean up the ca uh, the counter. You know. Put the razor up there. You don't need the razor all the time. You shave in the morning or whatever, and then you put it on the shelf or on a hanger. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Such a badass. Hold on, I'm checking for collectibles. We got any collectabilia? Oh my god, I forgot how huge his doors are. We were talking about that, little Alan. You have one new message. I don't think you get it either. Zane was the first writer the darkness knew. Zane could only make it so strong, so it made Zane write Alan to come. But also... Uh, but Zane also had an out, but it wasn't for him. It was for his creation, Alan. No, Zane had an out. 
he became the the spaceman. And then Alan, when writing his out, wrote Zane coming to give him his out. Spaceman was the lady? No, no, no. The lady is possessed by the darkness. That's Thomas Zane's uh, wife. Ow. Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life Okay. Like okay? Okay. Later, okay, Al. Barry. Watch the show. I'll watch the show. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Okay, let's take a seat. Turn it on. Ooh. Watched every single TV show and offer. This is the last one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Garrett Show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great Absorb show it. tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. <laughs> no, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler. Alan sounds like such a shithead. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. Departure. You selfish bastard. Six. Always thinking of yourself. Uh, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with a lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to Congratulations. Oh. How did publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. Okay, Alan does love punching people. Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake... Once more, do the face for a second. It's Samuel. There it is. And our musical guests, poets of the fall. He did the Max Payne thing. Good night. I totally forgot about that cameo, funny. dude. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. You're, not get, you're lucky I don't knock down a lamp. Look at that ass yeah. shot, gratuitous. Nice well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out. In I didn't expect Alan Wake sleep. to be a horny I'm game. Are you angry? This goddamn tour, it's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey, it's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. This is a video game. Again. Video games were a mistake. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. 
I'm well, sorry. Let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. They do go away forever. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, you don't have to take her gun. You don't have to pull a gun on her. You can just tell just her to stay her. here. Close the door when I leave. <coughs> Give me the headlamp though. Give me the headlamp. See you later. Give me give me the okay. Good tear. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flipped the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage He's of the He's out during the day. Alan does go out during the day. I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Yep. It's the only the day because he clicked. He clicked it. He Adam Sandler that one. Alone. In daylight. Alone. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. And a thermos. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a... Okay, where am I supposed to go? From the dam? It'll tell me. Gunless Wonder. You must complete the first chapter of episode six without using any weapons. Only using your flashlight, flares, flashbangs, and cars to defeat enemies. Okay. Story inside my head. Gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. I cannot use the flare gun. Ooh, I can probably read that. Get out of the car. No. That's prime lore right there, Alan. Good luck, thank you. They swear the campsites are bear free. Do you think they're bear free or barely free? Why not just like I guess they wanted to make it contextual I don't know I don't know Why not just make Alan stop and be like Wait, that's not the way I'm going in the wrong direction And then have him turn around You're gonna put like a crashed log truck in the way do you think there's loot in those woods can I even hop this yeah I can I'm gonna quickly zoom through here see if we spot anything Maybe a chair or something like last time.
Okay, I think we're good. No loot. I'm happy with that search. It just seems weird to have this big open area. Running down the road reminds me of 15. Anytime I'm running down a road in a video game, I get, like, nom flashbacks of 15. <gasps> Not again. Oh, that's Laura right there. Majestic Motel, just the road down. Come on in. Comfortable beds, clean rooms, wireless internet, and laundry facilities. Cable TV and kitchenette in every room. Phone 555-8923. Yeah, our rooms are clean. Gotta be something here. What's this? Lumber yard. Wish we could get in that, dude. That'd be so awesome. It's a video game. Let me do it. Be surprised how many motels and backwoods are actually nicer than city hotels. I, I don't doubt it. They gotta make it an, you know, it's it's their thing. That's what they're, they're doing all day. Making this place look spick and span. It's not just a job for them, it's their life. They run this, this motel for life. Family business. Take some pride in it, you know? What is this? Nice. We're not going to be using any of that, but thank you. Did the thing say we can use flashbangs? Yes, okay. So flashlights, flares, and our flashlight. Just gotta not press R2. Keep your finger off of R2. R2? We're gonna take the cannon vehicle. This is cannon. Alan was driving this. Yo, what's down there? Some barn? Ooh, thermos. Take that down. We canceled Deerfest, dude. 
That's in poor taste now. This big ass barn just to have that little thermos there, huh? Okay. I respect it. Respect the world building. Was a link between the night us. comes for us would be I could feel its presence again getting closer the night <clears throat> damn it Alice I will kill your wife okay that's the first thing you want to say to me really On, I'm reading the dark presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted the writer knew too much he, 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 too he left the clicker back at base behind by Thomas Zane something I don't know it. now the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from I don't know why he doesn't just click again probably the same reason Adam stopped clicking in the movie right it became too much. You should stop clicking. Adam, stop clicking, said Christopher Walken. Adam, stop clicking. I can't help it. I love it. Whoa, I can put things in slow-mo. Adam, look at that shot! Great shot of the the river down there. I said, drop him. An auto clicker, an eye clicker, dude. Like he's going to uni or something. All right, we're doing a loot check out here. Please no one kill my car. We're doing a loot check. Okay. Looks good to me. He just loves to click, you know? He was addicted to click. He's a click addict. That movie was really just about addiction and battling. Had a good message, you know? The Majestic Motel. General information. Refundable $100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major, major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No loud music, no pets. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are reg for registered guests only. No visitors allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you're a senior or a vet, ask about our discounts. I'm a senior vet. I'm a veteran senior. Uh, we won't need the shotgun because we're not going to be firing a bullet, so. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. All right. I'm going to check out a fresh number two. Coffee? Coffee right next to the toilet? Well, I guess I don't need to go anywhere when it runs through them. He also funked up by fast forward and he should have just slowed things down instead that way he could have had more time to do stuff and plenty of family time. But he wanted to fast forward through all the boring stuff. That's how he got a dick to the click. 
Like, life is boring. Oh, there's a can thing. I can't shoot. Kick it? Oh, I might be able to walk it. You could have fooled me, pal. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale safe had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Drinking, having a uh, big, big stuffer, big stuffer uh, Cheetos. Couldn't remember what they're called for a second. What's the card say? Wonder fresh. What are the pictures? All the people in town? Is there one of me? Can I see me? Is that Barry? Yeah. Um. Don't, don't do that to my car. Frick. You're lucky I can't kick you guys. I'd take down the whole mountain if I did. Okay. I feel like there's a way to do the stronger light, but I can't remember how. Okay, so my goal here is to jump on the SUV. Can I jump on the SUV? There we go. Hell yeah. We made it work. We kicked it. We make it work. We work within our limits, all right? Anyone in this room? What about this one? Okay. We can only go in two. Got it. 360 game. A little ambitious to be able to go into every room. You want to go into... Wait. Four rooms? <laughs> this is the 360. How about one? Okay. Can't do that current gen either. That's pretty true, yeah. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, we haven't really seen... Oh! Okay. That's a cursed car. I'm out of there. I'm hoping that, you know, when we see, like, a PS5 and Series X game, you know, for real, a couple years from now, we can go in every single room. No. Maybe PS6? And I'll be there, baby. I'll be there to see it. And I will go in every room. You know I'm going in every room. I can't help myself. Every nook and cranny. GTA 6 comes out. That's never coming out, dude. They're gonna do the GTA Definitive Trilogy, and then they're gonna do the GTA Definitive Trilogy Remastered. Man, we messed this car up. Oh! He's stronger than the car! We got any stuff down here? Big open field. There's nothing out here? I 
I feel like there was a button to soup up the headlights, but I can't remember what it is right now. Yeah. I have forgotten. Ow. Heck yeah, dude. Gotcha. I obeyed it, outsmarted. Excuse me. Yes? Oh, hello. Ow! My noggin! Ow! God, get out of here. What the hell? What the hell? Alan! Kill them! Use your flashlight! I want to be bumped. Come on, bump me! I dare you to jump on the car. Bump me. I need it. I need it. I need it. Give me that. Oh, it's just a light. I thought it was a manifest. jiggling and would fling you. Maybe if I got on the hood. I should have got on the hood. We can try this time. It's crazy! Trying. It's not, it's not frolicking. The car. I can't get on that car. Ow. Can you not do that? Bad tire. Ah. Good tire. That fridge. Get on the van. Alan, climb the van. Oh boy. to fight the crane demon. Oh god, we're going crane insane. Oh. That's just crane crazy. Is that the same crane from before? He's back? I thought we killed the first crane. Thermos. Thermos.
Seems like we're good, we're good. Don't see any loot. We're stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a monster truck. We're stuck. I'm stuck. boosts it. Okay, I guess we're getting out. Just calmly. Kill it. Kill it, Alan. To the light! From the window! Do they hate this or do they love this? They hate it! But also love it. They're masochists. They hate it, but they love it. We're okay. Maybe I won't crash my car next time. Whoever thought that was a good idea? Like, come on. The double. Oh, baby, a double. <laughs> Obviously, crashing my car would not be a good idea. Come on. Boom. Bumpers. Ow. I don't know why I thought that wouldn't hurt. Of course it does. Drive, Alan, drive. Thermos. Get out. Whew. Don't crash. Just gently, gently exit the vehicle. New car. Get that new car smell. Upstairs. What's up here? Anything? There's gotta be something here. Gotta be. Oh, yeah. What's that? A flare? Okay. And, and, that's it. And a little corner to hang out in. It's a 360 game. Give it a break. Come on, don't be so hard on it. They were doing their best. Yeah, we went in there. He's fine. Pit 
stop. Pit stop. Now nah, we're good. Alan? Don't panic, but drive faster. Also, drive off the road. Okay, never mind, we're good. Can we look down there? I still hear it. I don't hear it anymore. Dang it, I wanted to see it tumble. Get him. Get these fools. Okay. Okay, guys. Whoa, they're crazy. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. This is what I get for trying to go off-road. We're good, we're good. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to bring a car in here, but we're good. I'll take what I can get. Flares, yep, I'll take that. Batteries, yep. Delicious. Nutritious. All a growing boy needs. Some lithium. Squeeze in there real quick. Just a little, just a little squeeze in. Yep, now and just a little. Okay, okay. Plan B. We're gonna ramp it. Come on. Okay. I just meant to park it there. We're just, we're parking it. Good spot to leave it, you know? Off to the side. Out of the way from any harm. Bad goopy. Yeah, it's not, it's pretty good. I agree. Don't need the revolver ammo. Do I need that? Nope. I also agree. It's good, they've made good advancements. The modern camper is spoiled. And flush with options. Compared to their retro counterparts. Uh... Modern camper can enjoy their life uh, without worrying about anything too cumbersome. Uh. I'm gonna pop the flares. Yeah, I'm popping. It's always good to learn. Uh. I said drop him. Take that. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering its the rotten wake. waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned and didn't even notice. There we go. I'm going 
going to Cauldron Lake. You ever told me you were streaming? Am I supposed to DM you? Monday, Friday. Usually. Actually, I think I'm... Uh, I don't know. Everyone leaves their keys in the cars. They were scared. They were corrupted by the darkness. And the darkness does not teach respect of your property. Actually, I had no idea it was Friday. 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 I'm acutely aware of when it's Friday, because that means I don't go to work. Gotta get down on Friday. I mean... <laughs> Front seat, I'm in, in the back seat. Whoa, whoa, it's a bumpy road. Looking forward to the weekend. I actually never look forward to the weekend because I work like every weekend. Every Saturday, Sunday, I'm working. It sucks. <laughs> I'm convinced there's something out here, but I know there's nothing out here. I know I need Sunday off for Gundams, dude. Maybe I'll ask for Sunday off next, um... Not next week, because it's already scheduled, but... The week after. Hey, there is something out here! Hell yeah. In the end, Barry wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake, Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. Probably, though. Every day's the weekend. Never looking forward to anything. Wow, that's the, I think that's the only optional page. You gotta play on Nightmare. Just a little hike out here with Alan. Where's Prompto? Gladiolus. I'm gonna head back to the regalia. Meet you there, bros. And the glasses one. I can't remember his name. Ignis. Ignoramus. Keeping an eye out for thermoses. We need coffee. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen a cache. Fat loot. You know, I'm always down for loot. This is bait. Oh my god. Called it. I knew it. You knew it. Guy just pushed me. Don't push me. You don't know what I can do once I go beyond my limits. Malin, wake. I'm a freaking writer, didn't you know? Read? I'm looking at the enemies on the side of the screen. Alan has stopped, they have not. 
All visitors must see Yard Manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. Warning, junk piles may shift. Hazardous area. Thermos, thank you. Warning! Flare gun. Take it. Goodbye. They are very nice. They were waiting for me to finish. Very cordial. The darkness taught them manners, but not respect for property. A triple! Hell yeah. Oh, we got a double. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I've Austin Powers myself. I'm Austin. He's stuck in me. What have I done? What have I- The darkness! Uh, it's taking hold! It's making me do all sorts of crazy things like throw my car into the air! PUBG flashbacks. Uh. Bang him. I know Huff said yes, we can use flashbacks, but I'm still nervous, dude. Actually, can we read these? These signs that we can read? Smile, you're being watched by our surveillance camera. 50% off sale, open week weekdays. We. It makes me nervous to use a flashbang. It's too loud, like a gun, you know? There's our car. Ramp it, actually. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. If I ramped it, no thermos. That? That's bait. The real good stuff's right here, baby. <sighs> okay. To the scrapyard. This feels, this definitely feels like an arena. I'm probably gonna have to fight all these tools. Ooh. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothing. Barbara's face, his wife. Poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside off the pier and into the dark water a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came on a scene killer to the end um 
batteries were good. Was there a button out here? Am I, am I imagining things? Is this a button? I had to get the container out of my way. There had to be a way to power up the oh, container lift. Oh, I see. Lift. No power. Even though the light's blinking. No power. That's emergency power, of course. Missed it. Hmm. Terrifying. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Begging you? Show mercy? Hit the button. Smash that like button. Get in the car. Ding that bell. Trying to spot any collectibles I can. That area over there gives me collectible vibes. What's over here? Alan, just hit the clicker. Alan had forgotten about the clicker. It made no sense. It was such a big part of his history, and it was written in his character to remember. But he'd forgotten. The darkness touched him in a way that didn't really affect him that much, just made him forget about the click. Who said not like this in the Matrix, by the way? I think it was Alan. Or were you saying that because of uh, who we were talking about? Was it Click? I don't think Adam Sandler was in um, The Matrix. Tycho said he doesn't understand that joke yesterday. You just got ousted, dude. Live. You got outed. You don't even get it. You fricker. You don't even get it. I want to get over there. There's nothing to get anymore. That, that, that joke is dead. That was an old one. Fake memer, honestly. Yeah. It's like when, um, the Zuck comes out and tries to make a joke and everyone just starts laughing, but then he's like, haha, yeah, they're laughing. And it's like, ah, I want to laugh at that you, you lizard man. And he's like, ah, well, I did it. They're all laughing. We're laughing because you're a lizard. Is that meta enough for you guys? Did you see he put barbecue sauce on his shelf? What? Thank you, Huff. Why does he keep doing anything public? Dude basically created the second revolution of uh, social media, dude. First was Facebook, or MySpace, and then 
Facebook changed it. Reinvented social media. The dude wants people to like him. When I told Barry my plan back in he the may not room, say it. He wants people to like him. If I knew what I was doing. He's always smiling, you know. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting Showing logic his pearly of whites for us. Thanks, I had Zuck. to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick He's it like, like look at the cool thing. I'm look, look, it's cool. I'm doing it. And everyone's like, hey. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Light switch imbued with childhood magic. Whoa. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. You look like I if a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube man came to in. life and like had actual skin and teeth and a lot of money. Doesn't he do Instagram photography now or something? Tom? Yeah. You'd think if he was so rich, he could hire a PR person. He, he does hire a PR person. At that point, you hire PR people who just tell you yes to the things you say. Because it doesn't matter anymore. They're doing exactly the job that he wanted them to do. Which is saying yes to his ideas. Yeah. Push. Push. This is the first time I've pushed anything in this game. Alan, kick it. What a waste of time. You should have just kicked that. There we go. 13 flashbangs, dude. Line them up. I'll knock them down. I will never give her to you. Yeah, you did. She's my wife, goddammit. The water! are the opposite of gatherers that hurt my ears I'm sorry was that me or was that the game did I hurt your ears I guess technically it would have been me either way Zuck should just hire a body double who looks nothing like him to do all his stuff like a sexy person the lady popped up yeah it's loud it's a zinger right right through the ear bone Also, he should hire, like, someone to do something with his hair that's not what he has going on currently. Take it from someone who has really bad hair, Zuck. You got bad hair, dude. Fix it. Or just go bald. <laughs> you got billions. Fix it. Can I jump out this window? Can I jump out? Can I jump out this window? His complexion and his eyes make him look unnatural. It's yeah, he's like if a if a machine became a human being. If a machine skinned someone and put it over its robot parts, it would look like him. You even see its red beeping eyes. I was too focused and I died. It told me to focus, so I focused and the chainsaw man chainsawed me to death. Yeah, it was an illegal kill. Red card for that one. Get him off. Get him on the bench, dude. Get him out of the game. Red card. Not even a yellow card. You get a straight up red card. Get him off the ice. There's a 
thermos in one of these. I can't remember which one. Was it this one? I will never give her to you. Get ready. She did it again. I hope I kick that lady. Kick her right into a hole. Thermos. Is the thermos in here? Yeah, it is. There we go. Oh! Good hit, dude. You knew I was going for that fat loot. It's an illegal move, but respect for that one. Get him. All accidents could be prevented. Use the light. Bang him. Bang him, Alan. Bang those shadow assassins, dude. Are you supposed to be able to see? Uh... I don't know. I'm just- I trust the game, you know? If I can't see, I'm gonna assume that the game is like, You will not see my son. Thank you, video game. I trust Alan to see me through these hard times, alright? Damn, that's a big well. Paul Bunyan does live here, or Bigfoot. First time on the searchlight, I think the camera forgot to move. Oh. Yeah. It's huge! You have to climb in to start rotating the rope or whatever. I guess you could just flare this and then push this and run, right? Check here. What's in here? Anything? Nah, we good. I think there's a manuscript up ahead. Oh, yeah. I see it. Suck that up. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It, it wasn't, wasn't solid. solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The oh right, Alan is a young teenager. Poised to become real. Oh, you missed, I think you missed it. We went back, we had another flashback going back to the apartment. Alan had a hangover, and he puts on his wicked sunglasses. Straight up, they look like these sunglasses, except for without the little silver bits. There. He just puts on his sunglasses and walks around the apartment like this. Hey, I'm gonna watch the TV. My wife's home. I'm gonna go over and berate her. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. God damn it, Alice! Yeah. You missed him yelling at Alice, and she goes, Just go to frickin' bed. You bully. All right. He looked like a Terminator. Then they kiss. Yeah, they do kiss. Also, there's a gratuitous ass shot, and Alan Wake is a horny game now. Yeah, you missed a lot of developments. <coughs> no. No. 
Alan ass shot? No. I wish, dude. Then calls. it wouldn't be a horny game. It'd be a proper game. Yeah. You're telling me, dude. Minecart level? Are we Donkey Kong? I forgot about this. Release the brakes! The birds! The birds! Okay. Feel like you missed something? Wait, what? Why would you say that now? Quick jump off? Okay. Oh, and we just hit a checkpoint. Climb. Because you jumped in it so fast. You think there was something, like, behind me on the cart? I had to try. I had to try. It was right there. Something around there, probably? Man. I had to try. It's right there, man. You think I wasn't going to try and make that jump? Hell, I'm going to try it again. I landed on something. That's enough of that. We just hit a check. Oh, okay. This game loves checkpoints. I appreciate a good checkpoint, but come on. Holy moly. Relax. Think that's safe down there? Oh. I don't want to get like walled in here. Okay. No, no, okay, this is a supply box. This is optional. Cool. I don't remember seeing any goopy I don't remember seeing any of um you think Jesus had a bunch of moles that's why we would say holy moly holy moly I'm already aiming at them apparently may Mario bless you on September 30 I'm trying to make it a thing. I'm trying to make Martin a thing. No one wants it to be a thing. Just me. I only say it because there's Mario Day, which is March 10th, where they do like sales and stuff. And so I always think, because they always put it as Mar, M A R C H 10, Mar 10. Show me these birds, I'm just gonna gun them down with my lasers. Martin. Good old Super Martin Bros. It's not Martin. We can call him Martin if you want, but. Martin. 
M A R T E N. Martin. Ashton Martin. Huh? Ow. Somehow I don't think we have the um, the trophy for killing a hundred birds. I feel like we've killed a lot of birds. That goopy. I saw a guy up there. He was waiting. He's hiding in the back, waiting for us. Waiting for Alan. Alan! What in the frick? Get inside! How many? 12. Okay, that's the max of the flare gun, huh? Can't use it. No R2. No R2. Beeping noise. Beeps and whistles. Whirling noise. I love when subtitles say stuff like that. Makes me smile. It's not because I legitimately think it's funny. I just like... Yeah. What else do you put, right? What did he say? R2? Watch your mouth. Whirring noise. Beeps and boops. Beeping and whistles. R2? Everyone seems to know what the droids are saying. Kind of bugs me. It doesn't bug me, but it also bugs me. Like, they're just doing... I don't think subtitles speak... That's true. They don't say it. They imply it. We got fast boys on us. They're slippery. I'm flaring up. Okay, so they don't understand what the droids are saying, is what you're saying? You're saying that they don't understand what they're saying when they say that they understand. Okay. Got it. They're just doing play speech. Like, oh, you're so crazy. Oh, you little rascal. Real. You say the darndest things, R2. People say they understand their pets, but do they really? No. Pets are probably always telling you to funk right off. Just how, like, we can say, like, Oh, come here. Go die. Who's a dumb little dog? Who's a dumb little dog? And they're like, ooh, I'm so excited to see you. And they're wiggling their butts like crazy. It's like the same thing, right? Bark, bark, and they're like, I hate you, I hate you. Oh. And we're like, oh, they're being so cute right now. Shit. Or they're like meowing, meow. And it's like, well, people don't, don't need to guess. Cats are saying, I hate you. People don't need to guess. Cats give off the I hate you vibes. The boat. The boat. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I need this thermos, though. Thank you. Oh. 
I don't need the dramatic camera angle. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Oh boy. It's popping off! How am I supposed to know the fast guy was there? Give me a second, alright? I saw him, but like, okay, let it, okay, he's gonna come and hit me? I saw the swooshy, I know. I'm just sour, okay? I'm just a sour key right now. Like, oh my frick, why are you stopping me right now? I'm busy. Alan! Dodge. Go at the ass end. Mmm, sour patch kids. <coughs> My favorite. I wish I had all the sour patch kids in the world. Okay. He tried. He went for it. I don't think so. Bozo. Cool crane. That's where we're going. Oh crap. Um I'm just gonna go this way. Oh crap. I hear music. hear music, it's my neighbor's jamming. I don't think you can hear him, because I can barely hear it. What the heck? I think that there's something here. Is that what that is? Do you hear it? It just sounds like someone's strumming a guitar the same chord over and over again. Hold on, okay. Alright, I'm holding. Yeah, hold on. Let me get both hands on something. It's just a game. You might hear it when I talk, because it then the the mic gets picked up, you know? I can't hear shit! I can't even hear you right now. Alan's been running this whole game. Still can't run more than 10 feet without needing a... Whew, I need a second. I need a second, dude. Give me like an hour. 
I'll be good to run another 10 feet. The darkness wears her face. Where's the thing? Open. Oh. The darkness controls the take-in. Hey, I need a thermos. Got it. Thank you, video game. Flashbang. Thank you. Flashbang, thank you. Since that's literally the only weapon we can use, I need a lot of them. Okay. I think we're good. I needed to get the generator running. Where's the Ginny? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Do you see what I see? Taking care of my tools. I think a guy just walked into the electrical wire. Killed himself. Yep. That definitely just happened. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I think it happened again. They just keep walking into it. Like a moth to flame, dude. The darkness made him smooth-brained. There we go. Last manuscript. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real. And, and it, it was. was. Be real. For once, just be real with me. And it was. Turn back now. I'm sorry for your ears. can't control it. It's like the loudest part of the entire game is just her going, don't go away. No. Ow. Okay. Ow. That freaking hurts. Do as you're told. She's gonna do it again. As the resident reel of this channel, I'll allow it. That's why she's the villain, you know, we gotta take her out. She's giving a hearing loss. Alice. 
has never loved you. Don't say that. Just expect it now. Just expect it. The rest of the game is so somber. Thank you. Run, Alan! Oh, I can't run. Now I can. Gunless Wonder. Now we can pop off, dude. I'm gonna shoot whatever I want. Hey, I lost. <laughs> I was too busy shooting. I wasn't busy jumping. Guns do kill people. You can't win. You will fail. No. Shut the frick up. Use all your batteries, Alan. Doing it? I keep hearing popping. Destroy the tornado. Can I flashbang you? to get light into its heart to hurt it. <laughs> Just shoots me right off. <laughs> I can flashbang this bus and boom. No, I mean, probably, but oh, the flare gun. Oh, of course, I can shoot now. I forgot. I'm so used to not shooting, right.
spent all that time not shooting. It's it's kind of weird to shoot now. to get light into oh. its heart to hurt it. Do I just shoot the middle? Or do I have to kill all the little flying pieces too? I can't remember. You can't win. I get that. I, I understand. Great writer. No, not the, he drops the flare gun. He no longer sees a need for it, so neither do I. Click it. Help. Okay, I thought he was gonna belly flop, dude. Now he has the clicker. Just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't Why are you in bed with your shoes on, Alan? Fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed, and I'll make you forget all about your fear of the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Uh, where's the clicker? Honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Shut up, where's Come the clicker? I can't rest until I've clicked. Oh. Alan, you're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? You want me to call Dr. Hartman? Call him. See if I care. I gotta click. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. You're not Alice. Glad to go back for that. Yep. You're a genius. I'm so proud Clicker. of you. Clicker, ow. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. Tom. I'm not Tom. I'm Clicker. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could flashlight Alice. Find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Scuba. It's Thomas. Don't mind him. He's Mr. Scuba. Mr. Scratch. Love Mr. Scratch, dude. 
Use the clicker. Mr. Scratch is a real freak, and we love him. I forgot about this part. Ooh, I like the typing to bring it to reality. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oop. Thank you. Bird. Give me all the optional items first. Create a scene. Alright. And then we move forward. Create. Create a world. I follow the idea of a path. Shoebox. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met Sense. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. Damn. No, I love you more than anything in the world. You're... you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alice? What are you doing? Put the light back on. What Mr. Scratch. Alice, stop. Put the light back on. It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. There's the shoebox. Thomas Zane. I had written myself across the ocean. You're not my Barbara. Barbara. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, naughty boy. I will help you watch your mistress. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your, Your heart, heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Tommy. Put it down. My heart is filled with darkness. I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out. Jeez. Your heart's just filled with darkness, dude. I gotta cut filled it out. Darkness. Thomas lost it. He went full scuba mode. I will the cabin to be real. Bird? Get away from me, you tag! Where am I? Let me go! Alice! Alice! I'm coming! Your husband refused to do as he was told.
When eating ramen, you don't need to soft boil the eggs beforehand. Just crack that bitch open and pop it into the broth for a minute after cooking. Life changing. Like raw? Like just crack the egg and put it in the broth? The boiling water or whatever? Huh. I guess. Poach the egg in the broth. Thanks, that's useless? I feel like it would be very runny. Wouldn't it? Or am I crazy? The yolk is, but you want that. Okay. So, you dip the noodles in the yolk. You poach the egg in the broth. What's poaching an egg? You crack a raw egg over your ramen? Clank, clank, crack. And then just goop it all over your ramen? I mean, sure. You, your ramen's got to be, like, boiling hot at that point. To instantly cook the egg? Are we talking, like, Mr. Noodles, or did you order ramen? Are we talking, like, Nong Shim or Cup Noodle or something? Cook the ramen as normal, then remove the noodles. Plop an egg in the broth and cover it for a minute. Oh, okay. So we're talking like a, you get a cup noodle, whatever, you get a, a cup ramen, you boil the noodles, you dump the noodles, then while the water is still boiling in there, you crack your egg, put it in the broth, seal it back up, leave, let it sit for a minute or two, open it again, then dump the broth and the eggs on your noodles. That's what you're saying. You steam it. Got it. Hey, it's Chels. Mm. Did you eat all the tidbits? Okay. Air kissing. Up jump the devil. Haunted. Performed by Poe. How can I... A lot of licensed music in this game, dude. I don't have, um... Instant ramen very often. A lot of carbs, dude. But if I do, I'll try it. I will try it. I have lots of eggs all the time, so... I don't... Who sang Major Tom? I did. Didn't you hear me singing it? Okay, look for it. The Sun Stop, written by Alan Wake. Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. Was that always there? I don't remember if that was in the original game. It probably was. I eat it way too much. I, I used to have it every once in a while. I used to eat ramen, then I got kidney stones. <laughs> Ouch, dude. That sucks. Oh, yeah. The final title update. What do our stats look like? How many thermoses did we miss, do you think? I'm gonna say... 11. 6 and 20, okay. Two. Oh. Where were they? Where were they? Where were they? So mean.
freaking dude. Two manuscript pages? And three chests. At least it isn't one, yeah, I guess. Playback. Episodes. Normal? Yeah, there's the specials. Okay, so we'll play those next time. Next week. We'll probably bang those out in a single stream, probably be like three hours. Quick one. A little uh, epilogue to Alan Wake. That was fun. I love Alan Wake. How do we do on trophies? Damn, dude, my battery was full on the controller when I started. It was a journey. Yeah, I love Alan Wake. It's always a journey. Okay, we need to find the manuscripts. Gotta beat it on Nightmare. Made it to Cauldron Lake, not Lookout, in 30 minutes. Dang, does that mean that video I was watching? The hint video. Is this 30 minutes? It's two minutes. Why would they give you 30 minutes if it only takes two? I want to see it. I want to see it happen. He's running. Okay, he's running. There's eight seconds left. I mean, seven. And he does, and he does it. What? In episode three, after the phone call at the coal mine museum, rush straight to the Cauldron Lake. Ignore as many enemies as possible and focus on moving forward. Pausing the game does not count against you, and you can restart a checkpoint to reset the timer when you first hit that checkpoint. Okay. That sucks so bad, dude. Two thermoses? I'm mad. That ruined my night. I mean, I know I have to do another playthrough anyways, on my own time, but not good. Listen to Hartman's recordings. We missed that? At the start of episode four, when you enter the right staff wing, look for the small conference room opposite the picture... Oh, we only listened to one tape. We missed lore, dude. That sucks. Yeah, we didn't get the bird one. What the hell? Kill 100 birds, that damn tree. Oh, it was the tree. It was the... the the pot, the potter outside, it was the tree that was... Uh, 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 I miss stuff. Because the stupid tree in the background. It was in the window distracting me. It was like a planter sitting with a tree there. And the tree like kept glitching out and like uprooting itself oh. and flying above the ground. Oh. Pot 420, yeah. We did pretty good though. 74% not bad I'm happy with that we'll play these no spoilers no spoilers no spoilers no spoilers okay lost judgment I gotta get back to it I gotta get back in there you read okay well I didn't read any I didn't read any all I saw was you made a, a furnace cough up all its goodies. That's all I saw. I don't know what that means. Only 18 of Judgment? Yeah, dude. It's because... Look at... I'll show you. I'll show you the list. We got time. No, no, no. I haven't even finished the game. I'm in Chapter 4 of, like, 15. 
Don't worry, Huff. It's because we got this, dude. Complete every minigame, every restaurant, every um, side quest, every um, s side case or whatever. Everything. And then you got to beat the game on any uh, highest difficulty. Yes. But there's a lot of stuff. I'll tell you, it's not hard. I haven't really experienced anything in the game that's hard. But there's so... This game has so much stuff in it. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game. No spoilers. I won't go over it. No spoilers. No spoilers. Alan Wake. Next Friday. We'll do the special episodes. The Signal and the Writer. I don't know what we're playing Monday. Not a clue. Maybe we'll do it Monday. Maybe we'll do it Monday. You know, get a bang it out of the way. Boom. Right after Halloween, November 1st, play The Last of Alan Wake. We'll do Monday. We'll do Monday. That sounds right, you know? November 1st. The epilogue of Halloween. Right? That's how everyone sees it, right? The epilogue? I'll definitely be here on time for that. Gotta see how it ends. Okay. That's it. Actually. I, I couldn't think of anything. Bye-bye.